staff resistance. And I will tell you that that's something a lot of us have faced. If there's anything that I agree with about Jim Collins' work, and I hope some of you have read Jim Collins' work, I am a Jim Collins aficionado, it is that you have to have the right people on the bus. Your staff must sincerely and wholeheartedly embrace this vision. They also must understand and respect the fact that the vision of organizations is set by the board of directors and not by the staff. They need to believe it, they need to embrace it, but they also need to understand that it is your board that sets your vision. I think that if you are going to make a big shift in your organizational practices, policies, philosophy, you are going to have to expect that you are likely to encounter some staff resistance. I know we did. My best advice is that you prioritize explaining this change to them, explaining how it's going to work, explaining why it's going to save more animal lives. You give them a reasonable period of time to absorb that, ask questions, learn to embrace it. If they can't embrace it, they need to leave because it is crucially important that you have the right people on the bus, the people who are pulling together um, in, in a sincere way toward the same goal and the same vision.